Previously on Let's Play Oracle of Ages, Link was stranded on an island with green lizards called Togays, who stole all of his items and left him here to die on the shores. But Link, courageous as he was, ventured into the island to rec reclaim his lost goods. Will he succeed? Will he survive? Find out on Let's Play Oracle of Ages! I'm the Umbreon Messiah! Alright, right now we're going to get back our shovel and trade it for a... Well, our rocks feather. So we can continue solving puzzles. Eventually we'll get our... We're hoping to get the, uh... Our mystery... Our mystic seed satchel back. <sighs> I wish I could form a sentence properly today. Once we get a myst our mystic seed satchel back, we can trade, uh... One of our items for seeds so we can have both the feather and the bracelet at the same time. All right. As you can see, there are our flippers, which will help out immensely. Hey, you're the... Uh, yeah. So, now we have our flippers back. Which is a pretty sweet deal, if you ask me. What wasn't sweet was having to... Oh, God, that's a bomb. What wasn't sweet was having to, uh trade out the feather to get them, because now we have to go back and trade the feather in for the bracelet. So, I will meet you back here when we have the bracelet. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if only I had Sony Vegas, I would do those crazy little cutaway things that H.C. Bailey does. But I don't. And even if I did, I hate that thing. Alright. Now that we have the power bracelet, we can lift this up and dive down in here. Come on, Link. Link swims like a paralyzed barracuda. Tapping A is about the only way to get him to move at a reasonable pace. It's a real shame, because in Link's Awakening, you could fight while underwater. They've removed that ability from you now. Hey, uh, goody, we have our seed satchel back. Alright, now that we have the seed satchel, we can... I just crushed that seedling. Hang on. Now that we have the seed satchel, we can trade in some of the seeds for uh, our feather back permanently. And once we have the feather back permanently, we can use it and the bracelet to get the last couple of items we need. So once again, I'm going to cut out here and I'll bring you back when we have both items. And we're back. And as you may notice, I have both my power bracelet and my feather. The feather cost me 10 mystery seeds, but I don't really care about those, so it's okay. All right, inside here, now that we have both the feather and the power bracelet, we can move through this little dungeon part of the mini... Uh, I want to call it a dungeon, but I guess it's really just a side area. And now you can understand why we need the feather. Come on, Link. Come on. Yay! And over here we have the Harp of Ages. I don't know how this fucker got here, but... Well, I like to have my heart back, so... It's all cool. Alright, now we have to go to the other side of the island and... Wait, actually, I don't know. If, do I have to go to the other side of the island? Oh, I will, because I don't have my shovel. Alright, well, I'll see you at the other side of the island then. And we're back! Alright. Now, with the Harp of Ages, we can activate this time portal. We're going to need to do just that to get our last item back. Oh, wait. No. Crap! Oh, I forgot to do something, so I'll see you when I've gone and done it. This is what I forgot to do. You need to give the scent seedling to this guy so he'll plant it, and it will become a scent seed tree in the future. Which is where we're going right now. I really wish I'd remembered that so I didn't have to look like such a moron by backtracking. That's the nature of a good LP, people. Yeah, keep the failures in so people can laugh at your mistakes. Well, you've already seen one screen of uh, Crescent Island in the future. But I think it's time we saw the rest of them. And don't worry, I will rearrange my inventory. I'm very, very anal like that. Inside here, we have the Toke Cook, but he can't cook anything because his nose is stuffed up. 
So we're going to give him the stink bag to uh, loosen his nostrils. Apparently it smells pretty bad. In return, though, he'll give us some meat. Yay, tasty meat. Anyway, as you can see, this place kind of resembles the Crescent Island of the past, but not by much. And as I told you, all of those seedlings I put underneath the, uh, underneath the little walls have turned into vines that I can now climb up and down. As this toke will tell you almost immediately as soon as you get down here. You need to do this in order for you to continue around here, because trees and stuff have grown up in the uh, 400 years between the past and now, so... And here's our scent tree, which gives us scent seeds. Scent seeds have a, a unique property where when you throw them on the ground, they uh, crack open and emit a smell that attracts monsters. It attracts them so badly that they'll actually fall through holes and shit to get to them. But they serve other uses. But I won't tell you what those are just yet. Alright, now when we head back to the past, we can go up to the shop, and since we actually have scent seeds now, we can get our power bracelet back. For good. Congratulations everyone, I now have all my items back. And now I'm going to take a few moments to rearrange my inventory. Alright ladies and gentlemen, as you can see my inventory has been rearranged, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Like I said, I'm very anal about these things. Now that we have all of our items back all at once, we can go to the uh, west side of the island and uh, use the time portal that we found there. Since this is probably going to be an exceptionally boring part of traveling through the same part of the side area as before, I'm going to cut it out. Starting to really think I should get Vegas, because these cutaways are pretty jarring, I would imagine. Alright, now that we have the shovel while we're over here, we can dig out the time portal and use it to teleport to the west side of the island in the future. Or the present. Or... Oh god, I used the Harp of Ages twice. Oh well. Music's always good. And we're back in Crescent Island in the future. Present, sort of, whatever. Stupid crabs. Yep, there's another time portal for if we ever needed to go back to the past. Alright, and welcome to Level 3, Moonlit Grotto! Another dungeon with some pretty snazzy music. This is also one of the, uh, this is when the dungeons here start to get pretty tricky. Not the trickiest, but they're still pretty bad. It revolves a, a, a lot around you being able to use your brain in a situation where I'd, you know, rather just be using my brawn, like the last couple of dungeons. And here we got something similar to the uh, Eagle's Tower in Link's Awakening, except instead of needing to throw a ball at them, uh, you just slash them with your sword. We run into our first one of these, these turnstiles that change the direction they turn you in every time you use them. Now, this room is actually kind of tricky, because it's got a sort of dual puzzle going here. Gotta blow up these rocks to move them around to blow up more rocks so you can hit that thing in the middle, but that's not the only thing you have to do. One of these, there we go, some more bombs. Alrighty, got that out of the road. And now we push this statue out. Move that over here, and that will give us a small key. Hooray! I feel special, don't you folks? And we take the turnstile back to this room. Whoa! And use the key in this door to keep going on. But we're almost out of time, so we will continue the Moonlight Grotto in the next video. 
What horrors await Link in this dungeon, and will we ever be able to get back to the mainland now that we don't actually have a raft? Bet none of you thought of that, did you? Well, Link's thinking about it. See you next time, folks!